The twelve dollar games are always the hardest. Heat versus Celtics. We're back for another video. We ain't gonna waste any time gonna right into the video. <laughs> Heat versus Celtics. Game five. <laughs> there were no dang vention there were no dang vention for the Miami Heat. So no dang vention, no Tyler Hero, no Victor the people. All their guards are out. So that means Kyle Hart didn't have to play in a bigger role. And he did. But it just wasn't enough. Jimmy Butler was five for ten. 50%, 14 points, 5 and 6, like, 6, six rebounds. <laughs> Wasn't enough. The Celtics came out, and they took, and they, it was over in the first half. That first half showed that the Celtics, they were going to win the game. The first half was over. Game, the first quarter, the Heat always make a comeback, no matter they're down or not. They always show up in the second quarter and make the run. <laughs> but that, that wasn't a case. After that first half, I knew it was over. The Celtics up by like 20 points. <laughs> So the Celtics are just they're trying to make history, man. If they win, if they win tonight, if they win Game Six tonight, it's, I don't see how Miami go back to Boston and win Game Seven. Anything can happen, but if you lose, an opportunity to advance at home for the second time in you know, at three games, I don't see how you go back to Boston and take their business down there when you should have had, when you should have won it, when you had the first opportunity for Game Four when you were up three <laughs> zero. In game five, I didn't expect them to win game five. I don't, I didn't, just so they were not going to lose three games in a row at home. They have lost five of their seven remaining home games in the last, they have lost, they had five of seven home games. I don't see how they're going to lose another home game. They have lost so many home games in the playoff, I, they were not going to let that happen. They were going to go out there and take their business. <laughs> but then I expect the Heat to come out tonight and win game six. But Jimmy, Jimmy Butler said, we got to play better. Start the game a lot faster, but he said we're all the way down to stay positive, knowing that we can and we will win this series. And we did, we did have to just close it out at home. He literally said, and he said we got to play better, and he know we're gonna win the next game. If he he said that, I'm I watched that interview, and he said we're gonna win the next game, which is tonight. But he didn't just say that, man. After game four, when they lost, he said, we're going to go on the road. We're going to drink some beer, have some wine, do this. We're going to go on the road and take their business. Did, but did they do it? No. And, he's, and, and he said, we're going to win game six. But if they lose, he's basically lying to y'all, man. He already lied to y'all for He already lied to y'all one time. And if they lose tonight, that's second lie. Because he's saying you're going to win, but you don't win. You can't just say you're going to win. You got to you you improve it, man. Go out there and play while you want to win. You're saying you're going to win, go out there and prove it. You can't just say you're going to win. <laughs> Other teams know what you're trying to do. <laughs> so if you say you're going to win, you basically jinx yourself. Like, he jinxed himself in game five. And he probably drank too much beer. And then he jinxed himself in game six. Don't just don't jinx yourself, man. They don't say any word. Just say we're going to play better and start the game fast. Don't say we're going to win. Don't jinx yourself. He basically jinxing himself. So they lose the night. That did Jimmy Butcher's fault. And he's the leader of the team. He's the one who has it all there and put up the points. He have not done nothing in the last two games. <sighs> so, you blaming anybody but Jimmy Butler. And they're dealing with a lot of injuries, so he got to carry this team. But it's not just him. If Ben Matabayo, he got to help out too. Ben Matabayo, he had three games. He's only averaging 10 points. He had 10 points in game four. He had 10 points in game four. 12. I mean, he had, he had 14 points in game three. He had 10 points in game four. He had 16 points. In game five, in game, in game five, well, had three games. He only averaging a total of over. He only he not even averaging not even twenty points. He averaging twelve points per game. You can't do that. We got to go for more. So if you blaming anybody, if the Heat lose this series, you blaming the Heat not making. You blaming the Heat not making, not making adjustments. You blaming Jimmy Butler and you blaming Ben Adebayo. Go to the free people you want to blame. Everybody else, you don't blame them. Did they play? Everybody else on their team have played great every different night. Everybody, <laughs> but the super, but the superstars and the super and the superstar head coach have not come to play every different night. <laughs> but if and if they if they if they if the Heat lose this series and blow a three zero lead, Eric Sposa, you're the great coach, but you might be getting fired. <laughs> you might be getting fired. 
You've been, you've been the heat toast. You've been a heat. You've been the heat toast for a very, very long time. <laughs> like you've been there for a very, very, very long time. <laughs> but if you both three or lead, he probably gonna get fired. He's just, he haven't won a title since 2013. It's been 10 years since he ever won a title. They've been, they've been in the playoffs over and over. They've had some bad years, but they still trust him. But if they blow a 3 0 lead, he probably, he probably, probably, probably not. I don't think he will, but he probably will be getting fired. So you really think, you really think he will not get fired? Who cares how, who cares how great he is if a head coach? But if, but if you blow a 3 0 lead, it didn't. <laughs> Yeah, I know he did great coach, but if you blow a three zero lead, that didn't even fire right there. That didn't automatically get you fired. They'll probably tell you that didn't automatically get you fired. Who cares if you won two championships? It's been ten years since you won a title, and then you have had some opportunity to win a title. You had opportunity last year. You had opportunity in twenty twenty in the bubble. You had a couple. You had an opportunity to win it in in twenty fourteen. You didn't get it done. So you had opportunity in the past if you have not got it done. So I didn't. If you blow up 3 0 I didn't even fire. <sighs> See what happens tonight. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Day day video thumbs up. Night night. See. We'll see you. We'll see you happen in game six.